Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So I downloaded a new mod off Gamefront, the Husnock Warship. So I thought we'd try and recreate the battle between the Enterprise D and the Husnock ship. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. Now, in the episode, the Enterprise was hit twice before they fired back. Now, something that always comes up is that Data said, after the first time the Enterprise fired all weapons, he said they can absorb incoming matter, so basically the weapons are useless. And Riker's response is, fire again! Ooh! Well that did something. Uh, that really did something. Where's our... Most of our ships disappeared. How cool is that? Mm. Maybe not. Cool's the wrong word, I think. Odd. Oh man, look at the damage! Oh well, maybe it's more aerodynamic now. Don't mess with the Husnock warship. Oh gosh, here we come. Turn! Trying to get the torpedoes out while we still can. That thing is solid. The left shield is draining, Captain. Hey! Nope. Gosh. I'm tempted to try the um, Galaxy Clash refit, actually. Let's try that. Red alert, okay, so I'm in the RBG Galaxy Clash refit, so we'll see if a Dominion War refit can make a difference, basically. Oh, wow. So Quantum Torpedoes certainly have an effect. I think I'll increase power to the shield. Oh cool, I just noticed the uh they look a little bit like warp nacelles, don't we? Captain, we should conduct a scan of the area and see if warp nacelles, Federation nacelles. You know what I mean. Yeah, look. Ah, we've taken the pulse weapons offline. They've taken our aft torpedoes offline in response. Looks like we got a lucky hit there, definitely. Their top shield has failed. It's good to finally see the Husnock warship in Bridge Commander, though. Target call integrity at 20%. And yep, we've got them. So, Dominion War refit can make a difference basically. Wow. So yeah, like I said, the, that mod's available for download on the Gamefront website, so check it out if you want to recreate the Husnock incident. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.